Welcome to another episode of the Singapore's Real Estate Explain podcast on YouTube. We know where we bring you some bite-sized information about the entire market. Today, we have the Capital Markets team with us and we have none other than Elvin, who is the team lead of our buy-side um, uh, operations. And you know, today, we're going to cover a little bit more about a specific district. In, yep. the, in the GCB area, right? And not only that, you know, the previous week, I think we covered District 10. Mm -hmm. We understood a little bit more about the per square foot, what our listing is going for, what should buyers take note of. And today, we're going to go a little bit deeper into one of our more mass affluent areas. I'm going to say mass market, lah, because GCB is not really mass market, no. but mass affluent area, <laughs> yep. which is District 21. Let's talk about it. I mean, mm -hmm. let's go. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, based on last episode, we actually look into D10. Today, we are looking into D21. So, this is the, if you look at the, screen mm. this is the whole dish, uh or the gcba wow so d21 nice. mm. today we are covering four in particular yep. so there's binjai mm. cuban king albert as well as a uh, swiss club yeah mm. yeah so this area right uh just a fun fact also yes. swiss club do you know is actually split in between 21 and 11. interesting yeah yeah so so let me show you more, actually. Yeah. We start with Swiss Club first. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so if you see Swiss Club, right, um, two main roads that, that I will highlight. Mm. One is uh, this road called Jalan Kampong Chantek. Yeah, there's yeah. some NIS plots there as well. Some of them, yeah. yes. Mm. Yeah, and I understand that actually this me this uh, road meaning, right, mm. is uh, a road of beautiful home. Ah, Chantek. Ah. Yeah, Chantek, Chantek and yeah. then Kampong. Yeah, yeah Kampong, that's like, quite so. interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so this road here, right, this, uh, the units that are along these roads are actually starting with a poster code of 58. Mm, yeah. Interesting. So any poster code that starts with 58 falls under the poster district of 21. I see. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So Upper Bukit Tipa, Clementi Park, as well as Ulu Pandan, like these are mm. general locations. Yeah. Yes, correct. So which part of Swiss Club is actually in D11? Okay. So this is on the other side, I see. which is uh, Swiss Club Road, as well as this oh. uh, tiny road called Escort Rice. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So interesting. in this case, this is actually under D11. That falls under the postal code of 28, right? So yeah. it's under D11. So you see, there's, there's like four main GCBAs in mm. uh, District 21, right? Yeah. And, um, you know, different. So Binjai, you have a couple of, later we'll talk about what's so good about Binjai. I'll talk about what's so good about King Albert Park and mm. uh, Yawood, right? The Cuban Estate. So, so what's so good about Swiss Club? <laughs> actually, why are buyers looking at Swiss Club there? Mm. Good yeah. question. Right. So we do have some buyers who actually like Swiss Club because of the privacy. Mm. Mm. It's actually quite a nice, peaceful on cliff there. A couple of cul de sacs here and there. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And yeah. also it's uh, near to Swiss Club. Yeah. Some people actually go there for recreation. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think this year there was a particular transaction or a name transfer in uh, Jalan Kampong Chantik, right? Mm. And uh, is there a reason why people would like Jalan Kampong Chantik? Even though some plots are very big, they're 99 years, right? So what are the main reasons behind that? Well, mainly in this case, right? Mm. We noticed that there are some elevation views. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Especially... Um, towards uh, Jalan Kampong Chantek. Mm. Yeah, later I'll explain more as we go towards uh, Binjai as well yeah. and, and you can see mainly the terrain. Yeah. But Jalan Kampong Chantek, right, what we notice is uh, there are actually some units with nice natural basement mm -hmm. and elevated views. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and because of that, right, because of the elevation, they can mm. actually make a car park, oh, a natural car park. Yeah. A natural basement for the car park, I guess. Correct. Right, and you mm. also mentioned that there's a place there called Jalan Sanandong. Right? Yes. That has good elevator views too, yes, right? Yes, because it's towards the Jalan Kampong Chantek. Absolutely. Also. One of the yeah. main reasons why we know of this area relatively well is because we have two out of uh, three or four, three or four listings that's for sale in uh, Greenman Park. You know, mm -hmm. we took it exclusively. Uh, and, uh, you know, that area, it seems to be very, uh, it's character driven, right? It's, mm -hmm. a, it's an area that is very private and a lot of historical significance as well. For people who like places that is very nestled in a specific enclave, right? Mm -hmm. Uh very quiet, serene. It's a place that people do consider as well, right? Yes. And surprisingly, and this is something our owners tell us, the temperature in the area seems to be cooler. Yeah. Right? I think because of greenery. <laughs> Greenery's is there. Yes. there, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Okay, so so how are the units here performing actually in terms of um, the sales and rental? Let's, let's talk a little bit more about that. Yeah. Yeah. So in on the screen here, you, mm. you see the graph. Mm. Yeah. In terms of transaction, the last transaction for this uh, GCBA mm. is actually in July last year. I see. With a PSF of 2000. Okay. Yeah. Mm. We, we kind of observed that actually the volume wise, although it haven't been high, there, mm. is, a, there is a steady growth yeah. in terms of PSF for Swiss Club. Mm. 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 Yeah. Rental, on the other hand, seems to be an interesting topic because it's yeah. less attractive yeah. with an average rental about 25 to 30,000. So it's very interesting to know mm. that because there are some GCBAs that go upwards of even 100 to 120k, exactly. right? So mm. what's the reason why, um, you know, this particular area in your opinion, why, you know, it's going at 25 to 30k and sometimes even in landed, uh, let's say a number detached, you can't even rent it for $30,000, right? Yeah. So what's the reason behind that? 
Okay, my best guess yep. is uh, due to lack of amenities. Mm. Yeah, because in this case, right, if you look at Swiss Club, it's, uh, it's in between two MRT stations yep. and both will need about five to 600 meter traveling. Yeah. Yeah. And then of course, uh, the, the nearest malls and everything would then be either... Um, you know, you have you you still have to travel about five to ten minutes drive. Yes, yes. Yeah. And one thing about GCBs, right, is that we sometimes we forget that these are families with kids, <laughs> right? And and not all GCB owners, contrary to popularity, have cars. Have chauffeurs. Mm. They definitely have cars, right? Yeah. Have chauffeurs. And sometimes it's the convenience of the kids when the parents are out at work to walk out to the nearby amenities. Exactly. And that's why areas mm. without good amenities, right? It seems like you know parents don't really want to rent their places, lah. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. So but yeah. Don't worry. I think I think actually, you know, with the recent news about the grandstand oh, redevelopment. Yeah. 2027 will be uh, st- will be starting, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, 30,000 units there, definitely wow. there'll be amenities. 100 percent some commercial developments as well. Okay. Exactly. So I think enough of Swiss Club. Let's go a little bit more into like Binjai Park area, right? So yep. maybe can share with us a little bit more about how many units are there hmm. and what's so special about this place because D21 seems to be all like you know clustered together into one area right sometimes hmm. when we drive around we go for viewings it's very hard to decipher lah, except for the real name lah, <laughs> yeah. uh, right but there are that special elements for some units that we view at Binjai as well right hmm. so maybe you can share us a bit more what are the number of units there and so what's so special about this place okay so to start off hmm. Binjai Park area have a total of 98 units okay yeah Fun fact, we actually were on the ground, right? Mm. And what we noticed is uh, there are actually a couple of units mm. with long driveway. Yeah. I mean, that that is uh, another topic mm, that we yeah. can cover in the future, yes, right? But yes. long driveway with spectacular elevation view. It's like views that you can never, ever find in some of the even D10 areas. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Crazy yeah, elevation. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. In fact, we do have uh, one, one happen to have one listing there. Wow, we went up. Who is overlooked the pool beautiful. towards the orchard area. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There was even some unblocked views of the city as well, right? Mm. So the beautiful thing about Binjai, I think what you mentioned previously is also the elevated views, right? And it depends on whether you are a buyer coming in for easy flip, mm. right? Or you're a buyer coming in to stay, right? And in the GCB areas, you know, like what Alvin mentioned, there's some things about long driveway that we'll cover in the next video. Maybe mm. some of the pitfalls that people take note of when buying a GCB. But also, you know, elevation is something that is, is, is something that the price cannot, cannot buy. And yeah. that's why there's always a hefty premium on top of it, right? right. Yeah. yeah. All right. In fact, maybe I'll yeah. show you Please. more about the terrain. Oh, this is a topography yeah. map. So, so yeah. <laughs> it looks this like a very looks, simple one. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a night vision goggles on it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Singapore is generally flat. So yeah. to to see the color contrast, right? Mm. Um, I think some of you might have to brighten your screen. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. Now. Yeah. yeah. Because it's uh, but if you can see carefully, it mm. it, it has a bit of uh, blue hue and mm. green. And okay, maybe I'll just uh, circle this spot for you. Mm. So you realize this spot here, right? There is a, a darker, a brighter green here. Yeah. Mm. This is actually one of the higher elevation mm. in Binjai area. This is a no. I see. Yeah. So what do the different colors represent? Like mm. what does blue represent? What does green represent? There's light green and dark green. So what does it represent? <laughs> okay, so so blue means zero meter of sea level oh. all the way to... um. A uh, 50 meter. Yes, yes. And then green is uh, 50 meter and above. Oh, so the greener yeah. it is, the more elevated it is. Yes, correct. Interesting. Mm. Okay. So you see that for Binjai, right? Mm. Um, we we mentioned that, okay, maybe, you know, some some of the units that have long driveway have elevated, right? Yes. Yeah, that's because uh, they are they are actually nearer towards the green spot already. Uh, yeah. And then of course, uh, you see like Binjai Rise and Binjai Walk. Yes. Yeah, these are where if, you, if you're if you on the road, right, you yeah. realize that you have to drive up to these roads. Yes, yes, mm. yes. I see, I see. Okay. Thank you for the observation. So let's talk about the transaction, right? How, how has Binjai been doing, right? And, um, you know, it's quite interesting to note that there is a possibility that prices will be different even though the proximity are relatively similar, right? Mm-hmm. So let's talk a little bit more about that. Yeah. Yeah. So for Binjai area, the last transaction was actually in March. This year. Original condition. Yeah. 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 Um, this is uh, definitely some somebody who is looking to rebuild. Mm. Yeah. We noticed uh, similar to Swiss Club, they they have a steady hold in prices. Mm. 1008 uh, PSF mm. for past two years. Mm. Mm. On rental wise, mm. actually it seemed to be performing better than Swiss Club. This is what was observed. Yeah. With an average rent going about 30k, yeah. Yeah, pre- in Swiss Club is 25 to 30. Yeah. And in Binjai, there's even a record high of 70k. Yeah, that happened also relatively recently in maybe about quarter one of 2023 yes. as well, right? So what, what what do you think is the reason behind, you know, a higher rental? Yeah. Hmm. Well, my uh, I suspect is 
because of the amenities. Mm. Their Binjai area is still more accessible, mm. nearer to King Abba MRT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As well as some of the uh, Simdabi centers. Yes, well. yes, yeah. yes. And there are a couple of cafes that's also walking mm. distance nearby as well, right? That's right. I think one of the reasons behind that also, the record high 70k uh, transaction, right? Maybe possibly because it is on a elevated plot. Mm. So the views also may be a bit different, uh, you know, yes. compared to Swiss Club that is relatively more actually sunken actually. Mm. Yeah, more sloping downwards, right? This area is, is an elevated. So of course you want a bird's eye view of the whole yeah. area, you have to pay a bit more money, right? Correct. Okay. That's, that's a yes. good point also. And tenants, sometimes when they do hosting of event, they want ah, they, they will want to show, privacy, show this. Own. Nice yeah. place, right? And one thing that we realize about people renting GCBs, it is sometimes a business move mm -hmm. where what you mentioned, right? People want to host business partners, business counterparts mm. to come to a place to increase confidence. Right, yeah. we are invited to some of the events like this before, where you know the home is actually deliberately rented by a foreigner who's doing business here, right? Because they can't buy, ma, they need LDA approval, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Now let's take a look at the Kilburn Estate, and uh, the Kilburn Estate is relatively, uh, it's relatively interesting, and we have one listing yeah. that's the most ele second most elevated that's for yes. sale there as well. Okay, let's Correct. talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, before we dive deep into Kilburn, yeah. I think I think I just want to share because I. <laughs> Yeah, it happens to me a, a, a couple of times. Mm -hmm. One word of cautious to all the driver, drivers there, yeah. do not miss the turn into Yawood Avenue. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. Um, <laughs> but nevertheless, right, don't worry because uh, you will hardly miss it yeah. once you see Sim Darby Centre. Yeah. 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 Okay. The moment you see, you just quickly turn, turn left already. Yeah, and it <laughs> yeah. shows how close the Cleoban GCB is to amenities, right? Exactly. Okay, so... You know, maybe we can give a little bit more introduction of how many units there are in the Cayman Estate. Mm. And we hear quite often amongst buyers who are specifically looking for D21. You know, they want the Cayman Estate. Mm. What's the reason behind that? Yeah. Right. So Cayman Estate has a total of 65 units here. Mm. Quite a cozy area. Smaller than Binjai, huh? Mm. Mm, okay. Yeah. So some of our buyers, why they actually like Cayman Estate, right? Mm. Is uh, because it's... it's Quite a nice nature um, area yeah. full of greeneries. Yeah. And then of course, uh, you know, it's, it's deep like where, where, you know, some of the houses are parked deeper inside. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, you're also near to amenities yeah. like the MRTs as well as the Simdabi Centre. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, one of the note that a lot of the buyers mentioned about Kibben Estate is that in, specifically in the Yarut area, the roads are relatively narrower. Right, mm. to be parked along the roads or even, you know, two-way traffic seems to be a little tighter as well. Yeah. Uh, and um, I even have an instance where I was driving my car and then my side mirror kissed the other person's side mirror, but we just went past because there was no not much of a <laughs> den or anything, right? So how is the elevation here like? You know, anything to note? Yeah. Yeah. So likewise, uh bring you to the same map. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you see, uh there is actually slightly greener hue for mm. Cuban area compared to Binjai. I see. Yeah. I would like to highlight using this uh, animation here. This is just a very simple animation. Yeah. So the yellow goes all the way to dark green, right? Yeah. So Cuban estate is such a way that the higher or rather the deeper, deeper you go you into go the in. estate, yeah. the higher the terrain is. I see. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So then of course they, they have three cow sec and mm. we actually find out that the middle point, the middle cow sec yeah, is actually the, one of the highest point yeah. in Cuban estate. And we have a listing there Correct. that you can actually see the Singapore fire, the, the, the unblocked city view. Yeah. Of course, the distance away, right? Mm. And you also can get to enjoy fireworks as well, yeah. right? So with such a small enclave, right? This is quite a relatively small enclave of so 65 units, right? Mm -hmm. How's the sales volume like? Um, looking at pricing. Yeah. Right. So their last transaction is in November 2022 with uh, at a price of uh, 1,006 PSF. Mm. Mm. Likewise, average for this area, this is going at 1,005 to 1,006. Yeah. So, since this is a place that is near to Manatees, right? Mm. How is the rental there like? Is it better? Is it not as good? Or how is it like? Well, interesting enough, mm. the rental range for Cuban, right, is also about 30,000, mm. 30,000 a month mm. with record high of uh, 68k. Still lower, mm. huh? They've been dry. Yeah, yeah. but, but uh, I mean, like, right? quite, quite similar with the others that we review. But yeah. in terms of the a uh, rental PSF, mm. even though the range that we are looking at is 30 to 68, mm. right? The rental PSF is actually higher. Mm. Mm. Like, and likely because Cuban area, um, their, their plots land are plot smaller. size are smaller. Yes, yeah. correct. All right. Interesting. Very interesting that, mm. you know, we are getting a, a bird's eye view of the entire D21 GCB area. And rarely do we see videos online that gives us uh, an explanation of the GCB area, right? And most of our GCB videos is actually to educate the populace, right? Mm -hmm. uh, versus, uh, you know, a lot of the deals that we do in the GCB 
team is very behind closed doors, right? And yeah. whatever we can share, we do our best to share, okay? So of course, last but not least, which there's going to be a potential video on this as well mm -hmm. in uh, King of Park, right? Yeah. Let's talk a little bit more about this exclusive GCBA, which I would think is the smallest GCB enclave in D21. Yes. Yes. You're okay, right. great. 50 units. Wow, only. special. Yeah. yeah. I would see this enclave actually quite unique because uh, the Swiss club, Binja and Cuban are stacked. So yeah. left, left to right, right? Yeah. King is just one at the south. It's like an onion. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. a corner plot, a All corner right. onion. Yeah. Yeah. So they are. I, I remember the previous time when you were showing some of the buyers, right? Mm. We talked about King Albert Park being an onion, right? So yeah. maybe you can share with our viewers a little bit more like, about this onion uh, analogy that you had about how, you know, King Albert Park is like. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, why I describe it as onion is because first of all, okay, it is is the the terrain right? The <laughs> the highest gnaw is in the yeah, middle. Very good. So, so the last like thing I heard of was in the army. You know, like let's <laughs> let's, let's kill this gnaw. Yeah, okay. we're very used to gnaw. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. so three layers. Mm. Uh, so so that's why it look like onion, right? The, I see. the top layer, which is the prime elevated plot. Yeah. Yeah. So some so so we do know of owners who are commanding top PSF in the market 2004, today. 2005, yeah, that's uh, two thousand seven as yeah. well. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, the middle yeah. still elevated. Yeah. Although some some words, uh, some buyers might be a bit concerned with the descent, yes. uh, descending slope. slope. Right, yeah. yeah, but it offers an elevated view on yeah. top of the third layer. So the first time yeah. when I entered the King Albert Park enclave and I entered one of the unit in Kelvin Parks, right, I was just wondering, okay, this is a slope down GCB. So it's a it's it's it's, it's a dis, it's a descending slope, right? And ironically, at the end of the slope, I see the top of another GCB, mm -hmm. which is the middle layer that we're talking yeah. about, around the 20 plus range, right? Right. But if the third layer is the bottom layer, doesn't this mean that this is a bottom layer that no one wants to buy? Mm. Yeah. Good question. Mm. Actually, the third layer has its uh, pro process. Pros, yeah. Well. Mm. yeah. In this case, the third layer is closest to the amenities. Which is walking distance to, I think, Eagle Wing Centre. Correct. King, King, yeah, King Albert Park Mall, Mall, as well as the uh, MRT. Yeah. You want to walk to uh, the Green Corridor, mm -hmm. newly developed, very nice place, by the way. Yeah, a nature yeah. lover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, it's, just, it's, it's just a street across to schools. Yeah. Like a uh, Neon Poly. Yes, uh, Pehua, Pehua. Presbyterian, yeah. yeah. Mm. Bukit Tima Foods. You know, I always feel that um, King Albert Park, right, this enclave, right, it's always a very, a very humble enclave. Yeah. Even though it's a GCB owners, you know, they are, of course, ultra rich, right? It's always getting back to their roots. You know, there are some mm. GCB owners that say, you know what, I don't want my kids to stay in a privileged environment. Even though we manage to earn it, we manage to own it, we want them to live in the neighborhoods. Right? Yeah. Not say King Albert Park neighborhood is very mid mass market, but it's the most mass market you can get. One of the most mass market area you can get in the GCB area, right? Mm. So you have the Peihua Presbyterian you're talking yeah. about, and then you, of course, you have Bukitima uh, mm. Food Center, amazing place, and then Chuntin Road, that area, there's a lot of nice food there's that area as well. Yeah. yeah. More um, kampong community. Absolutely, living, yeah. absolutely. Okay, so let's go a little bit more about like the sales volume and average PSF um, in KAP, because I remember that, look at the chart now that we are on, right? It seems like it's performing the worst mm. yeah <laughs> yeah the volume seems to be the lowest uh, I suspect because of the uh, number of units there. uh -huh. there's only 50 uh -huh. yeah last transaction is actually in September 2021 1001 yeah 1001 wow. uh, but of course the average uh, average for the year is about 2000 uh, 1002, 1002 which is also not, yeah. not, not much higher la, compared to the 1008 and 2000 that we saw right that's yes, correct but the fun mm. fact here is that the GCB market has been on an upward climb la, right mm. Uh, inventory in King Albert Park is ranging from lowest, I think about 1,009 to all the way can go up to 2,007, like what you mentioned Correct. previously. And owners know the pricing now yes. and they know what inventory there are in the market. So they are looking to hold firm on their pricing, yeah. right? Ultimately, still a supply demand game, mm. no matter what the last transition we is. We notice that owners are holding firm with their PSF, Absolutely. matching with the whole of D21. Yeah, interesting, yeah, Because right? we, we we don't just compare with the Enclave. Mm. Uh, you're looking at Swiss, Swiss Club, yes. Cuba, Cuban, as well as Binjai. Binjai yeah. Yeah. All right, mm. so how is the rental there? Like, you know, it's um, it should be higher, right? Because it's nearer to the Medis, like yeah. what you mentioned yourself. So here's the good news yeah. uh, for people who like King Albert Park. <laughs> yeah, the rental is actually higher. Okay. Or oh, in fact, the highest among the... Uh, the three enclave. Good news the, to the landlords. <laughs> yeah. Not good news to tenants. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Ranging from 48k to 60k. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And this is slightly due to the convenience that we're looking at. Yeah. 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 Like we mentioned, MRT, the malls, as well as the schools. It's really very convenient. Yeah. Walking out, driving out, you mm. get to the mall immediately. King Amber Park, you have even grooming, grooming, grooming places, cinemas, you have food. Wow, so much food options, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a whole new world. Lah. It's like a whole new world. All right, so in summary, right, uh, what do you think about District 21, right? Mm. What kind of buyers are actually looking to buy District 21 based on your experience? Based on our experience serving so many younger buyers, right? What kind, right? And um, 
how's your confidence like in this area? Are you, do you think that this area is going to moving forward, stay still as a mass market a GCP area? Um, or is it going to develop and be better? Yeah, mm. yeah. Okay, so in summary, yep. I would say this area is, uh, this this District 21 GCB area is very suitable for people who are looking to upgrade. Mm. So we're looking into entry level GCB um, bias. GCB bias. Mm. Yeah. And of course, maybe I can show you, if you look at the screen, right? Mm. This is the master plan mm. covering from left to right. D21 actually is, uh, has a lot of potential for development. Wow. Yeah. And I believe that this will be very attractive mm. for future buyers. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, buyers of uh, today's market, you can look into the potential. Yeah. From the left, you have uh, some of the light blue corners. Yeah. So those are the integrated transportation. Transport hub. Hub. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Then of course, it goes to the newly developed green corridor for yep. nature lovers. Yeah. Yeah. Some of our buyers are actually were focusing on this area because of the corridor. Absolutely. Yeah. They like to walk after work or Absolutely. Know, on the weekends. And one thing yeah. that we realized about the high net worth or the ultra net worth is that it gets tiring, right? So after a long day of work, you know, they really appreciate such nature walks, right? Mm. And then one thing like to, to, to add on to your point about why, you know, District 21 will be good for first time entrants is because the PSF is still not as crazy as those in District 10, yes, right? That's right? And uh, there's some parts of D21 that's very close to District 10, even though you're in Upper Pukidima, but as what you mentioned, right? It's a price asset that, you know, it's an upgrade from either a terrace, a bungalow, or even some of our buyers from an EC going into the mm. GCB, right? Interestingly, but, yeah. but they bought District 10 instead. Yeah, so thank you so much. I think today is a very robust understanding of the whole D21 with the topographic map and everything. And as you guys know, you know, if you guys want to catch this video or, you know, if you're watching us on YouTube, right, you can always join us on a Telegram group chat, right? It's going to be over here. I think there's already 1,200 plus subscribers here. Thank you all for your support. Any questions that you may have, contact the number over here. No need just about selling or buying a house, like, you know, if you want to know, get us to share with you a particular, uh, you know, a question that you may have. Right, mm -hmm. we can do it on yep. through video content to address to you as well, right? So today's analysis is brought to you by Alvin, who is actually our team lead for buy side on board the Capital Markets team that we serve the our channel clients with objectivity, truth, and most importantly, a lot of data and yeah. research, right? That is done to make sure that we capture every single inventory for the buyer so that they can make the best decision they can, especially buying something that is easily above thirty million dollars, right? That's right. So thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you for the next one. Okay, bye bye. Thank you.